biggest stride from government is, is the funding by central bank and the bank of industries to, to fund the power sector because you look know, with everything is going to be cost and the cost they've introduced this money is very very good at seven percent and also long-term funding to help the industry grow so what we've seen so far that has spurred industry in financing their own power business in supporting the growth of their various businesses. Also on the government side, uh, government has made it priority again in making sure they deliver to their promise of supporting and pushing the power sector hugely. Now we've seen the target has been set up by the minister uh, of achieving the 6,000 megawatts. Not only that, also completion of the NIPP projects all, all over the country. That's priority of government, which, which is a good thing. If the achievements are worked on to deadline, I think this will make a big difference in, in Nigeria. But is that money going around yet? It's difficult to you know it's difficult to, to, to value because one you've got different projects at different stages, different contractors and different contractual capabilities right across the country. So, so the benchmarking of the deliverables of these projects is, is difficult to evaluate. I think NIPP will be in a better position to, to state that. But one thing is clear, the projects are falling behind mm. and the timelines have not been met. Hence Nigerians all over from private to public sector yearning and saying, listen, something's got to be done. So that's, that's it. But another thing that obviously is falling behind is the privatization. It was planned to end this year. Now we're hearing second quarter of next year. I think that was a huge disappointment for many. What are your thoughts on how critical it is to get that done by the first half of next year? Privatization in an economy like Nigeria would unravel a lot of the cloaks and daggers that's hitting away. The same thing has happened with telecommunications. When the government opened up this market in 2001, and look at it today, over six, 60 million lines in Nigeria and growing. The same thing with the power sector. Privatization has got to be done, but government has set up the roadmap, one. But the key is we're sending the wrong messages to the international investors, international communities. Companies have partners that's been, that are working around in delivering or in bidding together. But when we start moving the dates and moving the goalposts, what you're sending is the wrong messages to investors and financiers alike. I was Go just going to mention that. It comes at the cost when they, they move these things. No, no, no. We, we look, as an example, we've received calls from our bankers and partners that are, this, are you know, is government serious? Because a lot of money has been spent with, with consultants and, and people like that who have been in country working and purring over the areas of interest for us. But then the data being moved again, that is a problem. But I, I'm sure, as the government has said, they need to try and do things properly. That's one thing is crystal clear. Power, privatization of the power sector, which is a critical, critical part of the Nigerian, any economy, especially in emerging markets, has got to be done right. In a country like Nigeria with over 150 million people, power is essential to every, every sector of our society. So it's got to be done and achieved, right? Because they've got to create and put benchmarks in place. Your thoughts on the model that has been uh, created for the power sector, particularly with this bulk trader coming into play. Um, your thoughts on how successful we're gonna, this whole program is going to be? If the seriousness that I've seen that's been put behind it is followed through, the bulk trader method or methodology is a very, very good thing. One thing is crystal clear, for the bulk trader to succeed, a lot of capital has got to be standing behind it. And a lot of quality capital with the right type of credits got to stay behind it. Because what you're ta saying to me is I should go to sleep and take the risk on the bulk trader guaranteeing my payment. Mm. That's what it is. If that is achieved, what you find is you will spur a lot of international investors who are saying, if we put the money in power generation in Nigeria, there is some quasi guarantee that we will get paid. And that is very, very interesting if those instruments are put in place. The bulk trader, the, if you, the, the bulk trader methodology structure is, is this. An aggregator that takes in, guarantees the structure, takes in the power, and guarantees the structure and payment methodology. If that's put in place and practiced properly, it, it, it's not a problem at all. Mm. There's a few thoughts on the budget. We've seen 161 billion allocated to power. Now, 
I imagine most of that is going to go into some of the NIPPs that need to be finished. But where else do you think we need, the government has to allocate money now in creating this enabling environment for the private sector to lead the power sector? I think one critical area is going to be in transmission and distribution. Um, I'm sure bulk of that money is in recurrent expenditure in pushing government's position in NIPP and completing these projects, which is very, very important. The, the important area is distribution and in transmission. Those areas need to be reinforced. You see, there's no way you spend all that money building all those power plants if the transmission backbone in getting it from A to B or willing it from A to B is not properly put together. What you'll find is you're losing money. That's key. The second area is in the distribution network. We've got very old distribution systems right across Nigeria. There's still some places with 6.6 kV lines. A lot of update needs to be done. Now, my, my problem is this. With privatization, which is a great thing, private sector alone, looking at the mass, land mass, of what Nigeria is our country, it cannot invest that money. Because what you find is the catch-up time of private sector will take even longer. I'll give you an example. I, from private sector, acquiring an area, as an example. First thing, if governments demand, that is the money they are asking for that share that's going to be sold, is so high, what I'm going to go after as an investor is how to recoup my money first, before expansion of the network. But that's not what it is. So there's got to be a mix and match benchmarking position where government has got to put in place a reasonable price for quality companies that could deliver on the government's sectoral um, benchmarks. Once that can be achieved, I think, I think Nigeria is on the right track.